Well, thousands of people will celebrate the 4th of July along local waterways. So the Caddo Sheriff's Office wants to remind people of the rules and how to stay safe. NBC6's Alexandra Meacham has more in tonight's Safety Matters report. Alex? Yeah, that's right. So the Sheriff's Office says they encounter all kinds of situations on the water. So they just want people to stay safe and know some rules that they may not be aware of. If you're hitting the high seas of the Red River for this 4th of July, the Caddo Sheriff's Marine Patrol will also be out enjoying the fireworks while checking for reckless boaters who can be ticketed. Make sure that when you come out on the water, you drive professionally, you drive correctly. He says first, make sure your boat is working properly and you have the right equipment. You don't want to break down to break up your fun. But deputies will come get you. They're more than welcome to call the sheriff's office and we will tow them to the closest launch. It's also important to know the river, pay attention to the channels, and look out for the sandbars. Also, life jackets save lives, and it's law that you must have enough for everyone on board. 16 year olds must have them on and fasten properly when the boat is moving. Now, as far as alcohol, it's the same as if you're driving a car. 0.08 is the legal limit, but if it is lower than that and you're involved in a wreck, you still can be arrested for drinking while boating. You can have open containers on the boat, but your boat driver cannot drink and must be the designated boater. We want you to come out, we want you to have fun, but we also want you to be safe. And the Red River will close tomorrow night at 9 between Texas Street and I-24. The fireworks show so boaters just won't be able to pass through that area during that time. Back to you. Thank you, Alex.